Something I've been wanting to talk about for a very long time. Hood boys act just like Ku Klux members. It's, it's, it's one of the saddest things. Look, I'm, I'm from the hood. I was on the block. I did dirt. Shot the guns just like you. Fist fight motherfuckers just like you. Uh, the only thing I never did was I, I, I don't believe in jumping. I, I, I never believed in that shit. That, that damn, you know, you catch a fair one. You know, that, that, that whole two on one, three on one. Nah, I, I never wanted to be part of that shit. That shit is cowardly to me. I just think that's that's not really what it's what it's about. You know, if you that fucking mad, y'all go ahead up. You know, let's put the guns away, y'all go ahead up. But but see, that's that's the thing, man. We, you know, if you was to put a white hood, a white Ku Klux hood on most of the hood dudes. Wouldn't be no different. Wouldn't be no difference. It's always the three on one. They always chase the motherfuckers down, you know. And then when you get just as violent as them, now check this shit out, because I've had this happen a couple of times. You get just as violent with as them. You know, you pulling out the blades, the machetes, golf clubs, axe handles. You, you know, you know how it is in the hood, man. When when it's time to get violent, you get violent. These motherfuckers, all of a sudden, they hiding behind their mama's tears. They hiding behind they, they hiding behind something. And the worst part is, the motherfucker who was trying to do you dirty, you get him, and now he hiding behind the district attorney. That shit is the craziest shit I ever saw in my life. Man. I remember, man, there was this dude, and everybody knew who this dude was. But this dude was in the shadows one time trying to rob me while I'm out there selling weed. This 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 when I was young, you know, like had to be 17, right? And uh, you know, I I had I, I, I had the gat on me. So I we I, I really wasn't tripping. But my homie, who was a friend of us both, saw this dude and called him, Dre, what you doing? Hey, man, I see you. What you doing? And then he goes over to talk to this fool, and then he comes back and says, see, Lay, man, that dude was trying to get you, man. I said, hey, you and his cousin would have been really upset because I'd have laid that dude out here. I'd have laid that dude out in Acorn. He, 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 he'd, have been, he'd have been out of here. And he was cousin to a dude that I'm really cool with, but that don't matter. You out here doing dirt, man. Pfft, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. You know the rules. Don't do that shit, man. But that's that's the problem with the hood. The hood guys, man. It's like, man, there's so looking back, you said, man, there's so many opportunities to do it how I did it. Get your money and get somewhere else. Get your money and deuce it out. Get your money. But nah, these dudes, man, they can't wait for the re-up. They can't wait to get back out there. And and even when you look at people who like begging, begging politicians to let them out of jail. And, you know, I'm going to write a book. I'm going to do movies. I'm, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true. That is true. You can get out and do all that. And, and then some of y'all truly do get out and do that. But... That's where it stops at, though. You know what I'm saying? That's where it stops. I often wonder, man, a couple of people like millionaires. You know, you get out. You know, the the darn mob didn't get you out. The mafia didn't get you out. You got out because of some politician that you done paid off or whatever, right? But now you out. What's changed? What's changed? I got a homie did 25 years. He been in there ever since we were seven. No, yeah, ever since we were seventeen. He been in there. The question I always say is, okay, now you out, you making money, you done got married. What was that? What was that twenty five even for? 
what was it even for? I, I remember, man, because I, I chopped it up with him, man. We gave you so many opportunities, man. We gave you so many opportunities to go, to go, you know, right. You know what I'm saying? I had my situation going on. His his other partner, who's a partner of mine, they had his situation going on. No, nah, you want to go, you want to go mob up with some dudes you met at Ojai. Those are brand new niggas. But you thought them dudes had more. You thought them dudes was in a better position. Them dudes was never in a better position. Never. That's the crazy thing, man. It's like, and, and, and again, we all kids at the time. But the hood ain't never really did better than just, matter of fact, I look at all the people that just went and got a McDonald's job and became assistant manager. Went and got a McDonald's, a grocery store job and became manager. The motherfuckers did way better. Way better. Because cause in the hood, once you get caught, you got to start over. The hood, you get caught once you got to start over. If you ain't got to 60000 or 70000 or 80000 my question is, you would have made that at the darn grocery store manager job. Why? But, hey, it is what it is, man. You got to look at it for how you look at it. You know, got to look. Every Everybody makes decisions, you know, but I just say looking back at it, there was so much more we could have did, man. Now, in some places, they wasn't hiring. I get, I get that shit. You got to do what you do. In some places, you done messed up once or twice. But the hood has to be more honorable, man. The hood has to get some get some rules and regulations back to it. It, it, it ain't it ain't like that more. It's like whoever get to the gun first. Shit's crazy, man. I see dudes sitting up here doing 35 years, 50 years for for just bullshit. It's like Saw this dude the other day, man. This dude that committed two murders. I, I, I don't even see why or how it was a benefit to him unless he just owed somebody, which more likely that was it. They gave that dude 63 years. He's done. He's done. He's done. He even threatened the judge. Fucking done. Shit's crazy, man. Shit's really crazy. It ain't even about the hustle no more. It ain't even about trying to do something and do something better. You got dudes that just want to be out there for the sake of being out there. Shit is crazy. Alright. That's my little ramble about that, man. Uh, we're going to talk about some more stuff that happened on the block. But, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to see how this hit. And uh, we'll go from there. Leave your comment in the comment section, man. I know some things you disagree with, some things you agree with, but let's chop it up in the comment section see where we at. Much love. We'll be talking to y'all soon, man. Peace.